hey everyone welcome back so this is the another scenario based power bi interview questions which has been asked by the deloitte interviewer during the recruitment process of power bi developer okay so the question is that what will happen if many to many relationship exist between two tables in power bi during the process of data modeling okay it means during the data modeling process if many to many relationship exist between two tables then what will happen okay this is the question all right so the answer is that in power bi whenever you have a many to many relationship exist between two tables in your data model it can introduce some complexities and challenges or we can say a many to many relationship means that each record in one table can related to multiple record in another table and vice versa all right and remember power bi is designed to handle one to many relationship more effectively i say power bi is designed to handle one to many relationship more effectively one to many okay and it is generally recommended to model your data with one to many relationship whenever it is possible instead of many to many relationship okay so anyway as per the questions let's see if many to many relationship exist between two tables in power bi during data modeling what will happen it means what are the issue that we will face so as you can see here these are the five common issue that we can see if we keep the many to many relationship between two tables okay so let's see what are those issue or in descriptive form all right so the first issue is filtering and slicing issue it means filtering and slicing data may not behave as expected because of the potential for multiple matches okay this can lead to unexpected result when visualization data or creating measures got it it means if many to many relationship exist between two tables during data modeling it will affect when we are doing the visualizations okay or it may affect during creating the measures got it this is the first issue next issue that you can face is cross filtering issue it means in power bi relationship automatically enable cross filtering between two tables with many to many relationship cross filtering can become more complex and may not provide the desired outcomes that's why we should always avoid many to many relationship in power bi okay next is ambiguity in aggregations so aggregations such as sum average etc can become ambiguous when there are multiple related records power bi may not be able to determine which record to aggregate okay why this is happening because we have created many to many relationship between the tables right so this is the issue that is called as the ambiguity and aggregations okay next is performance impact this is the most important issue that we will face if we will keep the many to many relationship between the tables that is here you can see many to many relationship have a performance impact particularly with the large data set okay as power bi has to navigate through potentially complex relationship to fetch the data okay that's why we can say if we will keep the many to many relationship between the two tables in power bi then we can face we can face the performance impact okay so we should always try to remove the many to many relationship and we should keep it as one to many or one to one relationship okay then the next issue that we can face is dex measure and calculations it means when working with many to many relationship you may need to create more complex dex measures and calculations to handle the ambiguous and provide accurate result okay so these are the common issue that we can face if we will keep the many to many relationship between two tables during creating of the data modeling in power bi okay so how can we resolve all this issue so to resolve all this issue in power bi one common approach to handle many to many relationship is to introduce a bridge table or a junction table that resolve the many to many relationship in power bi okay 
So if you don't know how to create this bridge table, then you can watch my video in my playlist of this Power BI. Okay, and I have given the link of that video in the description sections. So you can also watch that from there. All right. So these are the common issues that we can face if you will keep many to many relationship between two tables in data modeling during creating of the Power BI report. Okay, so thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.